Hey guys, this is Lil with another raid video. Today, we are starting something different. So, in raid, in a week, there's loads of things that happen. Uh, like, if I think about when I miss a few days, like work's busy and I want to catch up, geez, it's like, there's just so much that happens uh, in raid in, in a week. Um, and so, I'm recording this every week, uh, which is a weekly wrap up. Uh, I'm an old WoW player, like I imagine a lot of you are, and I used to love Taliesin and Evertel used to do a weekly, I think it was their weekly wisdom show or, or their wondrous weekly wisdom show. Uh, they called it the re like the weekly reset because that was how sort of raids worked in uh, in WoW, and it was like what's been happening this week, what news is out this week, and that's what I want to do today is just cover off. What should you have, what should you have seen this week that you didn't? What's happening? What do you need to get ready for next week? Uh, and I'll do this every week. If you're watching this, then the Raid Digest hasn't dropped. Um, if uh, I will have to record it again uh, if the Digest drops, because I am expecting one today. They usually happen every couple of weeks, but the timing of them can be hit and miss. Uh, so I'm recording this now. I'm kind of half expecting them to drop the Digest in the next hour which means I'll be recording this again, but at least I'll have had practice and forgotten loads of things that I should have covered and didn't, so uh, it's always good. I, I always find my second recording of anything is usually better than the first time round. So, the format, more or less, that I thought I'd cover in these is, and it's mainly just me talking, um, I, I did, I did sort of, I did want to do this with someone else to have a bit of back and forth banter, um, but the only person I know, uh, it, like in the raid community, is Nubs, uh, and he's just taken on loads of work with the Hell Hades guys, so he he has not got the free time. So it's going to sort of format what I've been up to this week, you know, outside a raid, inside a raid, and then. What's going on from like fusions, Titan events, general events, what's going on with summons, what's going on in the community, and then reminders about things you need to do. Yeah, like is Doom Tower gonna rotate? Is Hydra gonna r change rotations? And then a roundup of just what's going on. Is there any news that you need to know about? So, what happened to me this week? Well, I can't remember if I covered it in the other video. Last weekend, I ran uh, like a a trail run, it was like a half marathon, it was pretty brutal. Sunday, I spent a lot of the day lying down. Um, but Friday, when my wife and I were preparing a cake for our son's birthday party, which was also on the Saturday, uh, my phone died. And it's not the first time, it had uh, it died the week before and it just crashed and then got stuck in a boot loop. So it was just like trying to boot all the time and couldn't. So as of Friday night, I had no mobile phone and I am mainly a mobile player. Um, so phone's gone back to the manufacturer because it's still within warranty. Um, so, uh, lots of people asked because I mentioned on the other video that I run raid most of the time, uh, on my phone in the background because Asus has what's, uh, it's like a, it's like an app. It's called Game Genie and it's got a background mode and it means that you can leave raid running all the time in the background. It doesn't pause, nothing like that, it just stays running and you can just carry on using your phone as normal, have it in your pocket, whatever, and just do your stuff and Raid is still running in the background until you tell it not to. That's how I run Raid. Uh, I don't know how you guys manage to fit the time in. Uh, Samsung have a similar, uh, a similar feature. Uh, I haven't had a Samsung for the last couple of years. It used to be that it was like you could just lock the screen while while the app was still running. I can't remember the feature, so I'm sorry. It's something to do with their game, one of their game features. Um, and yeah, the only other way I know to run in the background is with the split screen. But yeah, Asus gaming phone, the ROG phones are amazing. Um, short of mine being broken and having to go back to the factory, but honestly... I phoned them, got through to them really quickly, and they like sent a courier out the next day to come and pick it up. Um, so I got, but I got to wait a week to get it back. So I had to finish off two fusions because I was doing the fusion on my main account and on my free to play account without a phone, uh, which is a challenge because that's the I don't get that much time at a PC like outside of my working day. Um, 
so yeah, getting those both finished off and done was a bit of a challenge. Uh, but got it done. I also knew I wasn't going to get like any gaming time uh, like most of last weekend. So yeah, had to had to burn some <laughs> burn some gems. Just get things done. Um, I was pulling my soul stones for the guaranteed champ. Um, I forgot his name already. Uh, and I pulled a Taras six star soul, uh, which is nice. I'm not complaining about that at all. Uh, so yeah, uh, much debate. I've put him in crushing rend cause I, I really, I just really wanted to test it out in Hydra. I know I need to put him into, uh, into sheep really for, for, uh, for arena, but, um, I guess personally this week I hit 1000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you. Uh, that means, uh, and genuinely appreciate it. That means that I sort of start, you know, it's called monetizing. And it means that like f for every time you guys view, I make a tiny bit of money, uh, which is just nice. Um, I don't think it's going to like break the bank. It'll probably be like a few pennies a day or something. Um, but it's nice because like, you know, it's work. Uh, it's work doing this. You know, at this point, I like pay subscriptions for the software I use to make thumbnails. I've like upgraded lighting setups, new ca new microphones. But, you know, it's fun. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate it. And thank you. And if you like this and you're not subscribed, because I know that most of you aren't. Come on. It's like 90% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Like it tells us. So do hit subscribe because it helps and do watch because that also helps. Um, so yeah, that was great. So I applied for the, I applied for the content creator program uh, with Plarium. Uh, I got to wait like a week or two before I, uh, before I hear back on that, um, which is cool. I'll be like a level one content creator, uh, which I don't think like entitled, like I don't get to do giveaways or anything. I've got to reach like level two and like, I can't remember how many subscribers that is, but yeah. Uh, I'm trying to do like a couple of videos a week. Uh, so probably, well, I was trying to do one big video and then like, and then one smaller video, like uh, something that for me is fun, but that <laughs> inevitably tanks, like, uh, it, you know, it doesn't do very well. Like shard pull videos have never been high views for me. Um, the same with like, doing some live arena fights. Yeah, like I recorded some live arena fights the other day, just commentary of me going through it. And like, I just, I never, I've never uploaded it. I know what will happen. It'll get like hundred views or 200 views. Um, and I got like, so for me, the, like the live arena stuff, I always see people like, here's an Armand's showcase. I just watched one. Uh, here's an Armand's showcase. Um, but they didn't like, they didn't pre-record the fights and then edit the video, they just like recorded the whole thing. So whether or not Armand's gets banned, you're still sitting through like a 40 minute video where actually in half the fights, the champion that they say they're spotlighting isn't in the video. And I find that annoying, like not annoying, but I came to watch an Armand's showcase because that's what you said on the thumbnail and Armand's isn't in half these fights. It's just an example. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not calling anyone out in particular. Um, so yeah, like I did record a few fights like that, um, which I'll probably post at some point just to, you know, just sort of fun banter. Uh, but for me, like, I'm like, okay, I just put my Tormin into, um, oh, I forget what they renamed it now. Um, Oh, he used to be Rathalos set. Savage did that? No, it's not Savage, is it? What did they call it? Slayer. That was it. Um, I just got him into Slayer, nine piece Slayer. So he gets the 30% uh, chance to re to repeat AOE damage and he's all AOE damage. Uh, so I want to like do so do a fun showcase. Yeah, like uh, what's, what's an AOE champ like in full Slayer, a, a damage Tormund, um, which will at some point. But again, what I want to do is record a load of fights. He actually needs some dust because his accuracy in that gear is too low. Uh, what I want to do is like record the fights and then just not include any in that video that are, um, that don't include him. The challenge is then the sort of commentary gets a bit disjointed, you know, if you're like chatting away, uh, as I'm sure you've figured out I can do now for quite a while. Um, anyway, uh, I will put that out at some point. Uh, and look, you guys let me know, put in the comments what videos you like to see. You like, I'm more than happy to do like, you know, that sort of live 
uh, just running commentary of like live arena fights and stuff like that. But if people find that interesting. Um, so this week, let's have a look. I also got my personal best on Nightmare Clam at uh, Nightmare Hydra. Uh, hold on, I can. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have. Um, I'm gonna have the usual fun with uh, trying to bring this up, aren't I? Hold on. Yes, let me close it. It's like for some reason OneNote, it doesn't like it unless you open it afterwards, right? Here you go. So this was my, this is about my personal best on Nightmare. Just, I don't know, I've always been, I've always done okay for like hard, built the Razavarg team. Um, and then Brutal, good, because this used to be my Brutal team. But then my Nightmare team was always like just not quite doing enough, like doing like 100. So this week, obviously, we had the sixth starter ass coming in. And this was like literally the first time I ran it. Um, so I'm sure that these guys could do a lot better than this. So Goral is still not booked. So I'm really looking forward to CVC uh, so I can book her. So yeah, like I'm quite happy with that. And I think it might be one of my best sort of overalls. I moved my nightmare team back down to um, back down to Brutal and they did sort of better. So, you know, I was like 180. I'd like to see this go up to 200 once I get that Goral booked, yeah. um, really. And uh, yeah, and then I think the Brutal team did like, I can't remember, 160, something like that. Okay, so... That's everything that happened with me this week. Obviously, like, I built up Armands. I haven't got enough chickens to do it on the free-to-play, but, you know. So, I guess, first reminder, CVC next week, guys. Personal rewards, CVC. So get ready. However you make your points, yeah, go and watch your... Uh, your how to prep for CVC, whatever level you're at. Uh, for me... That's always 3v3, yeah. Whatever, if you're in gold 3v3, uh, <laughs> I guess that's another thing that happened to me this week. I was uh, climbing up my free-to-play account to try to get it back, trying to get it up to silver four so that I can do a sort of, okay, look, this is what getting into gold one sort of looks like today. Um, and I was in the green uh, in silver one, and I logged in the next day and I was down in bronze. Uh, so, and again, I hadn't been hit by anybody and I hadn't I hadn't really hit anyone. I just sort of left it because, uh, like, it's hard keeping on top of the free-to-play when you're also playing the main account. Um, so, you know, I'd put a few fights in the day before, just got myself up into the green. Now, and, and like, I know this is where a lot of people sort of find frustrating. is like, I was in the green, why didn't I get promoted? To which the answer is it's all percentage based so you don't have to get hit to not make it into promotion you can be in green and you can come out of green just because other people are playing more than you yeah like the points threshold it's not a fixed like be over 1200 points and you're auto getting promoted because it's only a percentage of of the players that get promoted so if somebody else is just doing better than you if everybody is then scoring more points, it's why, like, on plat, you see the minimum point requirements for plat changing all the time. And it changes because there are more and less, you know, people pushing. Uh, so it's the same there, you know, like, it doesn't... You don't need to get hit and lose points to not get promoted, just other people have to push harder, um, which is what happened to me. So uh, hopefully next week. Um, yeah, it's just sort of getting that consistent multiple weeks in a row. Um... So yeah, 3v3 uh, is the easy money when it comes to CVC points. You know, in our clan, it's a buy your, um, uh, buy your refills the day before because they'll sit in your inbox for 24 hours. So, you know, usually it's like stack up and day one is just so much 3v3. It's just like, I just wish I had a bot that would just, you know, press, press each team one by one. Um, because, yeah, it's, you're just fighting. Everyone puts a one-man defense in, you know, and the day before, put your one-man defense in, drop as low as you can, because, like, yeah, just it, it's where most of your points come from. And then it's the two Xs, so just just do all the two Xs, do your uh, do your forge stuff. Yeah, you know what to do. Uh, I'm, ours is sort of about 400, 400k for, uh, for CVC. Uh, 
I did not know this. Uh, you need to now save your awakenings because you get CVC points for those. And we did check earlier, but we had two different figures. So let me, did I have it up here? I did have it up here somewhere. Close that one. Let's make sure the Raid Digest hasn't dropped while we've been recording. Nope, not yet. Okay, so let me move back to this one and then to this one. Here we go. So there's a little bit of discrepancy about exactly how many points uh, because the one that we had in my clan's Discord was different to this. Sorry, I've closed Discord, so I can't look at that. Uh, I closed it because it makes loads of pinging noises. Um, so yeah, not. We're not totally 100% on how many points you get for each rank of ranking up a legendary. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Um, Hell Hades has it as one value. We had it a lot lower, but that might have changed like since since they introduced it. So, but this is something that I totally missed just in news is awakening gets you cvc points so absolutely uh, save your awakenings and uh, and then you can and then you can make some points so if you're doing the armands then save your uh, you know you're obviously saving your books already i presume um but make sure that yeah and this is new that or it's new to me i haven't seen it um or i haven't used it before i've used a i've used a spreadsheet version of it um so you can come and calculate you know okay how many am I doing? How many do I plan to do, etc. So, let me flip back. Let's have a look. So, obviously, at the moment, we're in the... Everybody seems to... Well, the schedule seems to now be fusion once a month, and then on when, uh, the times that there isn't a fusion, you're on a Titan event for some soul... Yeah, a Titan event or a path or something for a soul, basically. So it seems to that seems to be the the model. Uh, I know some people are unhappy uh, with that, feeling like they're being drained of resources. Um, I know that. Well, in fact, I know a lot of people are feeling like that. It does feel a little bit like that. You get a fusion done, and then suddenly you've got, you know, a load more dungeon divers to do, artifact enhanced to do. Like my silver pile is not very not very large and usually you have that downtime in between fusions to stop back up on energy to do your C your personal reward cvcs you know uh build up your silver again and then so, but now because it's like nope you've now got a two-week fusion nope you've now got a two-week uh, titan event nope now we're back into the next fusion so obviously the armand's fusion's wrapping up um lots of people happy about all the extra sheeps as well so I mean, it is what it is. We'll wait. I'd still be surprised if he doesn't get a nurse, nerf of some form. Um, yeah, I mean, do it or don't do it. Pick your level. Um, if you're end game, I would say, yeah, pick up the guaranteed dude. Well, you should have picked up the guaranteed dude and picked up the Armand soul. I think the five star soul on him will be big. Obviously, I prefer this way where you can pick like the level that you want to go to as opposed to like the Podrick stuff was like, pick up the champ. And then if you want to go down and grab the five star soul, there wasn't any four star, there wasn't any three star. So I kind of like the, the model more where, you know, you can pick your level and then stop if you want to. Um, I don't, summons this weekend is just the usual 10x progressive stuff. So they put nice champs in there to try and make you pull. Other CCs have got loads of videos on it. Uh, this weekend it's Kaimar and Siffy. So you want a Kaimar or a Siffy? Do some pulling. You're probably doing pulling anyway if you're doing the Titan event. So, uh, like I was, I stopped before the last uh, before the last set of points because they were pretty deep. So, I think it's about 250 points that you're allowed to skip this time. Uh, so, yeah, that's 150 if you do skip those really deep points in the summon rush. Uh, community news. I didn't hear an awful lot uh, from my sources on sort of any shiftings or anything well i should say one thing that we've noticed is uh it looks like people are now clan hopping for uh hydra clash so we're starting to see you know uh clans being emptied out so that they can drop rank so that people can then move across to the other clans just like we do with cvc um 
yeah, you see sort of skeleton clans that then suddenly fill up with people and then they get easy matchups. Um, so yeah, other than that, you know, people being uh, not very happy about the back to backs. Um, was there anything else that we noticed? No, obviously CVC this time is gonna to be tough. Everybody is gonna be booking and ascending and awakening Armands. So save your books and awakenings for that if you are competitive in CVC. Um, is there anything changing from a rotation perspective? We just had the Cursed City. I say just, it's not actually. Um, it's not actually just. Let's go into game. So we had, uh, we were on the lovely uh, lethal um, Doom Tower. Um, and now we're back on Frost Spider. So this reset a couple of days ago. So you've got four weeks until we need to worry about that again. Uh, the Curse City reset, I think it was two weeks ago, uh, a week and a bit ago. So we still got a couple of weeks left on Curse City before you need to worry about that. And Hydra will change back to rotation one uh, in, uh, in, well, next week. So five days. Um, so yeah, you've got, uh, you've got this reset with... Um, with rotation six, and then we'll go into, uh, and then we'll go into back to rotation one. Uh, I'll check for you. Hold on. Oops, I just moved that. Rotation one is. Oh, here it is. Rotation one is back to decay, torment, suffering, mischief. So it's like the very first one. It's you got the cleansing, you got torment, and you got mischief. So. Uh, which I think, yeah, Decay, Torment and Mischief, yeah, it's the same as now, just different affinities, so. Um, yeah, interesting, one, two, three, four, um, and hold on. Oh, I lost my notes, there we go. Sorry, I, uh, I moved something around and then I lost them. So, I think, hold on. Yeah, so I don't think there was any other major news that we didn't cover. Um, hold on. I'll flip back. Uh, I don't think there were other, any other sort of major revelations this week. Obviously, it's going to be interesting seeing what the plat reset, uh, what the addition of Armands, everyone having their Armands ranked up uh, and five star ascended. Uh, I guess, I don't know if you can actually get him up to five star uh, before the next plat reset. Um, I guess people won't be booking before then, will they? Because reset will be on Monday. So yeah, I guess the next couple of weeks of uh, of plat reset will be interesting to see Armand's coming into it and whether he makes it into offense teams and or defense teams. Um, yeah, interesting times. Uh, so guys, that was it. Uh, that was. There's not a lot of. There's not been a lot of news per se uh, in in raid in the last week outside of like events and things dropping. Obviously, keep on top of your Titan events if you're if you're doing that. Um, just keep track of any points that you skip. Um, yeah, just to make sure that you don't end up missing out if you are deciding to go for it. If not, do some minnow or something, uh, or save some resources until uh, until the uh, until CVC. Okay, guys. Let me know how you like this, how you like the format, um, if there's stuff that you'd like to see included. Um, yeah, that's sort of uh, what I was thinking was what I've been up to, how things have been going, and then what's been going on in Raid, in the community, any changes, things you should be aware of. I wanted it to be, uh, if, you, if you just had had a busy week, what had happened in Raid? What had you missed? Um, and frankly, this week, outside of the Fusion, the Titan event and the Guaranteed, not much. Um, you know, like I say, it seems to be the format now, Fusion into Titan into Fusion into Titan. So I would say you might want to consider, you know, do I want to go for all of these? Uh, you know, and that depends where you are. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I've been Lil. This has been my weekly, weekly wrap up, Raid re weekly wrap up. Uh, so let me know how you like it, guys, uh, and I'm hoping to do these every week. Um, so stick around and subscribe. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.